Hello, welcome to Ekide, where we train future civil and structural engineers. My, my name is Fashe Ochet. Um, today, what we want to do today is very, very interesting. This project we are seeing is a hotel, and it's very actually a massive one. So in this uh, project we are seeing here, we are having almost, uh, we are having a place where the beam length is about 8.89 uh, meters by uh, 8 point something meters. So in this building, so as we always say that you should restrict yourself within, um, you know, maximum of six meters. And we said there are times whereby situation will require you to design more than that. But aside maybe a place where it's needed, we have said it, that you should restrict yourself within six meters, column to column, uh, distance between column to columns. So that's fine. Now, uh, I want to say something that if you look at this structure, you can see a roof, you can see my roof beam carrying a wall. Yes, this is because there is need for me to subject this uh, roof load, roof beam rather, to load in the sense that uh, we normally say okay, 300 because if my beam depth is uh, at the ground floor, if my beam is 450, that's because it's this that's a slab, is that okay? By the time I now come to roof beam, you know, my slab from my depth of beam, the ground floor, which is 450 minus my 150, give me what 300. With that, it is expected that no matter what, it should be able to carry the the load understand without any wall load you need to carry the roof load good and fine but i want to say that it depends on your span are you with me now because if your span is much like maybe six meters span and when you are designing a structure your structure must not rely on your block wall your structural members i mean your beams and your columns especially your beams if your call your structural members cannot stand on their own that structure is not a safe structure you should be able to design such that any of your structure member are able to stand alone with the load like now this might be without any block wall here they should be able to stand without anything in case the uh, the client does not want or does not have the money to raise the block but you want to do this clutter work frame 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 structure now this time around frame structure your structure should be able to stand is that okay without any support from uh, block works is that okay so as i was saying that depend on your span that is why i have to subject this uh, roof load uh, roof, this roof beam to what to load is that okay so that is fine i haven't explained that i want to show you how to remove the um, hugging moment reinforcement is that okay we want to learn how to remove our hugging moment reinforcement is that okay the, and there are things i'm going to be explaining I want to say that you should take your time to watch this video to the end. Very, very important. I will explain why I have my to subject this uh, my root beam to what to this uh, load. Is that okay? Because of the span I'm having in this uh, structure. So that is that to see. Because as you are seeing it, if I just assume that 300 is okay, there are places whereby I have uh, up to 350. Is that okay? So without adding that 50, you discover that at side you might what what you might have what we call a um, bending moment. Is that okay? Around that uh, that area. So to avoid that. Because of the load I've already put, we discovered that I'm able to take care of that. So that is that. Now, I want to show you how to now remove your hugging moment reinforcement during your interactive uh, design because it's very, very important. And there are some things you'll be seeing which, if you don't understand it, when you get to site, you might be asking, why? Why is this like this? Is that okay? Because the structural engineer who designed the structure know what he is doing. But you, if you don't have the idea of structural design, you will now discover that at site you might want to, you know, ignore some things that the architect, the structural engineer have done. Is that okay? Which is not actually uh, good. Or you're questioning how and why. So that how and why is what I want to explain to you in this uh, video. Is that okay? All right. So let's now see. Let's now see if this uh, structure is as past the design so let's see um okay come to this place this is a portal 2018 i've explained this portal 2018 is very good if you are having it it depends on your what on your structural uh, sorry um, architectural drawing is that okay if your architectural drawing does not have basement please note does not have basement does not have a what you call it steel does not have any swimming pool at the at the, at the rooftop then you can go ahead and use a portal structure 2018 but if the structure and um, architectural drawing is having any of the three i've mentioned which is basement or retaining wall or uh, what do you call it um steel or um swimming pool at the rooftop definitely such a design you will need portal structure 2022 or portal structure 2024 so i'll explain let's look let's check this design okay let me check okay you can see the structure everything perfectly okay is that okay as i said in this structure we are having about 8.89 
meter span by about eight point something meter span too also so now because of the requirement so how to design that as time goes on we are going to do video on that how to go about it up to nine meters ten meters a uh, beam uh, length so that is that now looking at this structure is very okay and we have said that your interactive design is very very important so that is a that's that so now let's now see how we can now remove the hugging moment reinforcement and also to explain some things in this uh, video is that okay so in case you have not subscribed to ekidel and you have not liked this video i want to say or we have not given it a thumbs up please i want you to do that because it's very important so that other can also benefit from it very very important thank you very much so therefore let's switch into what into the action then what i will now do is that okay, let me remove it from this um let me remove from this okay all right so this is it um you can see the structure you can see it here you can see it here okay all right it's a live project as we are seeing it's a live project hotel so that is return this one back uh -huh. and then um let me go to my okay now this is the point whereby you have to remove it so let me now see let's now interact with this now let me now click on this on this beam okay i've done others but i just left few so that we can now do it together now click on this then right click and then come to beam section design likewise in photoshop 2022 we can also do the same thing all right looking at this now we have explained how to we have done video on the interactive design at this point this particular how to remove the hugging moment have not been explained so we want to explain it now so that by the time you have watched that video and watched this video you discover that you can interact with your member perfectly well it's okay now looking at this at this plane at this at this point here there is what a, a hugging moment around this place like this, this beam like this coming like this and up like this and up like this and the rest is that okay so now therefore that is why there's need for around for us to reinforce this place is that okay for us to reinforce this place and that's why we are having this is that okay now the question now is how can i remove it so that to make my detailing so neat one at the same time structure being saved is that okay so that is that and because of us removing this we are going to see what is going to be happening is that okay now looking at this there's a support here there's a support here there's a support here there's a support here isn't it now you expect that the the reinforcement should be more at the bottom compared to the top isn't it and i want to say that it's very very important for you to do your to be doing your modeling try and you know hang your members your beam is that okay very very important it can never be overemphasized it helps a lot is that okay it helps your uh, design a lot it helps your detailing a lot it helps you in terms of the kind of reinforcement is that okay you are going to be using for your what for your design is that okay you not have too much uh, reinforcement scattered everywhere for you to not be stressed to now begin to arrange them automatically to some percentage has been taken care of if you hinge your members which is a beam is that okay that is that and we have done video on that is that okay now let's now see now looking at this it's expected that the bending moment here this is where the bending moment is isn't it and here this is the hugging moment isn't it and we know that if not because of uh, it is said that around this the top reinforcement by code at least you have minimum of what of two reinforcement isn't it but there are situations whereby you can you it require more than um two reinforcement at the top is that okay we have done all this one in school so now coming to this now we are doing it at site now we are going to be working doing this video as if we are at the site now if you look at this from that experience of design you now notice that this place my diagram is going to come like this and up like this because there's a hugging moment here come like this and also like this and like this etc so now at this point there is need for reinforcement to take care of this hugging moment is that okay so that's why we need this reinforcement so how do you now remove it, this one so what you're going to do now is that first of all First of all, looking at this, this is it. I can now say, let me remove this one because I don't want it. I reduce it, reduce it. You can see it's already showing what failure here. And we said that in at this point, no value here should show red. Automatically, if you should go like this at site, this structure, I bet you 100% is going to fail. Is that okay? So what I, since I've removed it, I'll come to this place. I'll come to this uh, place, lap, lap at left, and also come at what at lap here, right? So you can see, use it now. You can see it here, and also come to this place. Do the same thing first lap okay and also lap okay now let's take care of this before we come to this place now looking at this you can you now discover that here is still feeling this, this one is less than okay this one is still okay okay it's okay it's okay it's not less than 20 okay now looking at this point here looking at this point here you can now see we have 61 and we say the area and this one is 39 is that okay so we now say that this place should not be less than 100 isn't it now what i need to do now is coming to come to this place and now increase it this is now 3y 
16 past the design and also come to this place what 3y use it now it has passed the design and everything is okay and if i let, now check my deflection you can see 15.74 less than 66 if you minus the minus them you can see the difference between them is more than five it's more than 10 isn't it likewise these other ones and these other other ones would are fine now i haven't explained this you can now see you can now see as we have flapped this one is okay now but if you now look at it the top reinforcement is 3y16 and the bottom reinforcement is what 2y16 so if i now say i want to reduce this and i'll come to this place and increase it make it one so you now you can now see now that one that's supposed to be at this point we have added it to this one to not make it one single or what reinforcement use it now instead of you to have this reinforcement and i said side now cut this one again understand i said now ask the eye bender to now cut this place for you be at this point to now be able to take care of this hoggy moment automatically once you increase this one to three because it's supposed to be three that means at this point is three isn't it at is the three reinforcement isn't it of y16 so what i will now do i'll just remove this one okay and now increase this one automatically it has passed the design and likewise one so three y16 will just run through automatically i've taken care of this hoggy moment in this place is that okay so that is that now coming to this place again i'll come to this place let me remove remove this one let me remove this let me remove this okay let me remove this let me remove this okay is it passing design you see it has passed the design but the software actually provided it is that okay and if i look at my deflection it's still okay and if i look at my, my value here is more than 100 and here none of them is showing red even though it's showing red none of them is less than 20 and that is that and also let's check let's confirm let's confirm now looking at this now you can ask what we are having perfectly okay you can see how we have arranged our our reinforcement at this point is that okay so that is it that's it. i want to click on what on there okay so that is that and also i'll come to this point here click on this one then come to this place let's see what's happening here okay you can now see this point here. at this point here you can see what we are having um let me remove this this middle uh hug moment reinforcement let me remove it i don't want it and this one also i don't want it i don't want it. you can see they are failing okay but no problem so i'll come to this place then what i'm going to do because of the span you can see you can see two four point something meters is that okay and as i said your structure should be able to stand withstand uh the load without any beam uh, sorry um wall support well, suppose some design taking that wall will support it and then they will overlook it. It's not correct because in the situation whereby the client want to do the uh, freeze, uh, um, what do you call it, framework, framework without any block work, your structure should be able to stand without any support from any other member called uh, walls. Is that okay? So that's that. So now what I will now do is that I'll come to this place. You can see it's failing. I'll come at this, at this, at this hugging moment, at this support. Is that okay? It's failing. So what I'll now do is that I'll come to this place lap left and also lap right so you can see it has passed use it now so i also come to this place i'm coming let me let me lap it and then increase it back see it has come to this place come to this place also come to this place lap this and then lap this then reduce it and increase it so you can see it has properly lapped use it now so what am i having okay if i look at this 382 point this is still far more than this let me see if i can reduce it okay very good you see now as i reduced it because it's it's, it's not more than 100 it should be less than 100 rather but what i'm value i'm having here is far far more than 100 is that okay so i'm saving 400 or something before it was what 600 or something which means i can still reduce it so that's why i reduce it because i've saved my client what um a, 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 one reinforcement is that okay and it's okay here 2y16 at this point 2y16 at this point 2y16 is that okay and looking at this place also the bottom let's see let's see let's see okay everything's okay and let's check this one okay 16 uh, 17 51 this one okay everything so we can see how we have removed what the hugging moment the enforcement and everything is okay now so i'll now click on what on there okay that is that then the next one is this so this is how you go about it is that okay this is how you go about your design so you can now see this one is failing and you can see this point here let me remove this let me remove this let me remove this let me remove this okay let me remove it okay let me remove it you coming okay that's been removed and here is filling so let me lap it first before i think of increasing lap it here come here and lap okay reduce take it up again okay that's passed here so let me come to this place also um lap uh, extend lap extend left to lap okay and extend the extend the right to lap okay so now what i now do is that okay let me increase this okay it's 83 sorry it's five i have to increase this one you see you see i've increased it because at 2y16 here the flashing have been taken care of but the hog moment have not been taken care of so which means i have to increase it is that okay which is okay now and looking at this this span is okay this one is okay this one is okay so now you can now see what we have done i will now click on what on my final okay if we come to this detail now and see you can see what we are having clean you can see this is what we are having you can see 3y16 2y16 
and also to i16 and look at your detail you can see it what we're having here perfectly okay now at this point the reason why we are having three y16 at the top and two y16 at the bottom is what i've just explained because of this hugging moment and i want to have a single reinforcement instead of having a cut all through so you can now see because if i should reduce this one now you can see it's normal two y16 but look at this which means at this point i have to provide only one single reinforcement can you see it now which means at this point is three isn't it which is the same thing as what let me remove it and come to this place and what increase as three which is perfectly okay and your structure is what is perfectly okay so that is that is that okay so this is how to remove your hugging moment but in a situation whereby let me see let me see let me see uh, let me see uh, this one okay okay i have this one let me see okay let me see this let me see this okay this one provided but there's no needed looking at this it's not needed okay let's see once this one is okay it's okay it's okay okay everything is okay here in a situation whereby you have done all the possible bets as you are increasing it it's not passing then automatically it means that the, it means that this hoggy moment actually need enough reinforcement because at times when you use 2y16 or 3y16, it's not passing. You might need to use up to 2y6, 2y20, and then divide this one is 2y16. Is that okay? So all those things, you have to do your consideration. There are things to consider in that uh, scenario. Is that okay? In that situation. So that is uh, that. is that. So let me now go back. Let me take it back. Okay. Come back. Okay. I'm coming. All right. Let me check, confirm it again. Okay. Everything's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let me check all right it's okay perfectly okay all right it's okay all right then so this is how to go about removing your hoggy moment reinforcement and the condition around it which i've just uh, explained is that okay which make your work to be very fantastic and unique and, and unique is that okay so that is a uh, that is that so this is how to go about removing your what hoggy moment reinforcement in your what in your drawing during your interactive uh, design so that is that as i've shown you you can see that our structure is what is perfectly okay this is a live project the next day we deal with what live project is that okay so that is that thank you very much till i see you next time in our next video that is coming up very very soon is that okay we are going to do some fantastic video which you actually need to watch very soon is going to come out just be praying for us and also be sharing this video to others for them to also watch is that okay because the more you click on like button and subscribe the more youtube will send it our uh, videos to other people who are actually in need of what you are actually watching now so thank you very much god bless you till i see you next time bye